His hooves look fine. No cracks, no injuries. Hmm. His heart and lungs sound good. Then what's his problem, Aunt Sophie? Why the long face, Star? <laughs> Maybe he spotted Mayor Butera without his hairpiece. I know it scared my dog. I don't think so. <laughs> Tell me, how long has he been like this? The mayor? Oh, you mean Star? Not long. Yeah, in fact, he was fine yesterday. <laughs> Olivia, Andrea, and I took the new horses out for their first ride. Right, and Star had a great time. And then this morning, I found him like this, all gloomy and depressed. <laughs> Big time. He's lower than a caterpillar's shoelaces. I can't find anything wrong with him. I'll have to take him to the clinic and shoot him. <gasps> with tranquilizers, girls. So he can be x-rayed and I can also run some blood tests. <sighs> I'll go make the arrangements with the club manager. Would you two put him in the transporter? Poor Star. I hope it's nothing serious. But what if it is? What if Star is really sick? What if Sophie puts him into quarantine? Away from all his friends? Alone? Forever? Olivia, we gotta do something to help him. But what could it be? He seemed so happy yesterday when Andrea was riding him. <gasps> That's it. Maybe he misses Andrea. Let's find out. <sighs> it's no good. He's still depressed. How can anyone be depressed when I'm around? I'm a party on wheels. What else could he be missing? How about that blanket he was wearing when he got here? Scratch that. Maybe he's got a favorite food. Look, Star. How about a nice, juicy apple? A big, crunchy carrot? Mmm, good. <clears throat> I should have washed it. Choo-choo! Open the tunnel. Here comes the train! Andrea, he's a horse, not an infant. Get a grip. Okay, girls, time's up. Let's get him in the transporter. <sighs> All right, ready to go, Olivia? Feel better. Get well soon, Star. <gasps> oh, poor baby. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> With you.